Good morning from me and Diesel. Good morning. We are at Flying J in Alexandria, Minnesota. Just fuel drip. We actually didn't sleep here. We didn't make it this far. We could have, but we didn't. Should have, but we didn't. So we slept in Avon, Minnesota. And now we're fueling here. Now there's no more stops till we get home, right, Diesel? Hey, look, Celadon! Jerry! That can't be Jerry. Jerry stays in Canada now. Maybe it's Jerry's friend. Hello, Jerry's friend. A friend of Jerry's is a friend of mine. I'm gonna follow him. Where are you going, Mr. Celadon? Where are you going? Don't see many of them out west here. They might be going out to Calgary. I hear they go out to Calgary quite a bit in that area out there. Though I never see them there. Jerry says they're in Calgary all the time, but I never see Celadon trucks out there. And Jerry wouldn't lie. So, I guess I'm just missing them. Where are you going? Why are you going that way? Okay, I guess I scared them off a little bit, creeped them out. Okay. Whatever. I'm going the other way. See you later, friend of Jerry's. Okay. So we're going to enter back onto I-94 West. That's going to take us to the I-29, and you know the routine. We're going to turn north on I-29. It's going to take us home. Still trying to figure out if they want me to deliver this load today or tomorrow. I was hoping I get it delivered today, but I don't know if I'll make it there on time. Guess we'll see. Oh, Flying J Coffee, second best coffee in the world. I have a new mixture that I like. This is a 20 ounce. I put two hazelnut creams in it, two of them. Then I fill it halfway up with hazelnut flavored coffee and halfway up with intense extra energy coffee, extra caffeine. It's been my coffee of choice lately in the States. Next time I'm at a Tim Hortons in Canada, maybe later today. That's right, there's no Timmy's later. Diesel, wanna go to Timmy's later? You wanna Timbit? Oh, we'll see. I want a Timbit. I'm gonna try it with a shot of espresso because Peter Anderson from Gone Trucking gave me this idea. I didn't even know it was possible. He said he was going to Tim Hortons. They're getting an espresso shot. That yeah, blew me away. You can get espresso shots at Tim Hortons? It's like double the goodness. I guess we'll see. We'll see how it tastes, how, how good it is. I'll let you know. If you're wondering who Peter Anderson is, most of you probably know who he is already. He's gone trucking on YouTube here. He has a YouTube channel of himself. He's a... Uh... Peter, what, what, what would you call your position? Do they call it intermodal driving? He, he drives cans around, like the sea cans. He pulls them around uh, the Montreal area in Quebec, in Canada. But he's English, so you can understand what he's saying. He has a pretty good channel going on there. Go check him out. Uh... His channel name is actually Peter Anderson. Spelled exactly the way it sounds. Peter Anderson. He uh, vlogs daily as well, Monday to Friday. Right, Diesel? We watch him all the time. Yeah. Oh, and we're a half hour from the Canadian border there, eh? Oh, yes. We have left all civilization, and that means we are getting close to home. Oh, it's gonna be good. I only have to deliver this load that I have now at noon tomorrow in Winnipeg. So I gotta go home for the evening tonight and sleep 
and then sleep in. Yeah. I won't sleep in that long, but at least there's no rush in the morning, you know? There's no rush to get going. And I hate first thing in the morning appointments when I'm at home. I know it's part of the job, whatever. I'll suck it up when it happens. But if at all possible, I'll always try to make my delivery appointments, you know, like late morning. I'm not a morning person. You know, I'll stay up late. I'm a night owl. I'll wake up late morning and then I'll stay up till early morning. You know what I mean? A lot of the times I'll drive past midnight into the night, then I'll get up later in the morning. That's just my system, my way of doing things. That's how I roll. Right, Diesel? No, 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 whatever. Yeah, that's true, he doesn't care. He just sleeps till I get up anyways. He's such a good boy. He never wakes me up in the morning. Not usually, anyways. Usually he'll sit there and lay there quietly until I wake up and then he'll start tap dancing on the floor. You're awake! You're awake! You're awake! Let's go inside! Let's go inside! Right. Anyways, yeah, I know it's pretty boring out here. North Dakota for you. We are uh, on I-29 northbound, if you haven't you know that. an hour and a half away from home. Not too shabby. I live just an hour over the border. Just barely into Canada there. Just barely in the safe zone. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. It's so much nicer. I actually live close to the States. Well, that's where my like family settled back when, whenever we came to Canada. But it works out because we're so close to the States, we can easily run down here and enjoy all their nice goodness. Their cheap groceries, cheap gas. You can come down here and have a whole bundle of fun for like half the price of what you do in Canada for the same thing. So that's what we do. We come down to the States a lot and uh, take advantage of their low prices on everything. Which they can't complain. I mean, we input into their economy that way. Whatever. So. Diesel, ready for joke of the day? Joke of the day. Today is brought to you by Jordan Hoffman. You want to hear your name in a video? Send me your best joke to my Facebook inbox. The link is down below in the description. Add me as a friend. If you don't want to be my friend, fine. You can still message me. Send me a joke of the day. There's a plane carrying five people. The pilot, a priest, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and a young boy. Problem was there's only four parachutes and the plane's engine dies. The pilot then grabs the parachute, jumps off the plane, says, I'm out of here. Barack Obama says, well, I'm the president. I need to live. Grabs the parachute, jumps off the plane. Hillary Clinton says, I'm the smartest woman in the world. I have to live. Grabs the parachute, jumps off the plane. It's just the priest and the young boy left. And the priest looks at the young boy and says, well, you take the parachute and you go. That's what God would want me to do. The boy replies to the priest and says, no, that's okay. The smartest woman in the world just jumped off the plane with my backpack. <laughs> oh. One of these times he's gonna laugh at my jokes. Look, the Canadian border. The Canadian border. Look, Diesel. Boom. There it is. This is Pembina, North Dakota and Emerson, Manitoba. This is the one we cross through the most often. And trucks go to the right four-wheelers go to the left. Diesel, put on your best game face. Don't look suspicious. I choose this lane. Roll down to Vinda. All right, see you guys later. And just like that, we're on the other side. Where do you live? Where did you go? How long were you gone? Any tobacco or alcohol? Any weapons on board? What's in the trailer? All right then, have a good day. It's always easy getting back into Canada for me. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't have much difficulty crossing here ever because I cross here so often. I guess my fast card is recognized here as a regular crosser. They never give me a problem. All right, we've got to change SIM cards in our phone here, Diesel. We're on this side of the border. 
Oh, and the scale is open. Welcome home, Trucker Josh. Thanks, DOT. Thanks. What a good welcome party. I want to check out my stickers. They know I'm not overweight coming from the States. We're allowed to be heavier in Canada. All they want to know here is, is my truck safety? Are my plates valid? Are my stickers valid? Everything working on my truck, all my lights? All that stuff. So I'll take you into the scale here, why not? Okay, Mr. DOT. <laughs> Man, he's like, get out of here! Get out of here! You don't want to be in here, this is DOT, get out of here! All right, stop before entering scale. I never know if they actually want us to stop, because sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. I usually do. If they ask you to stop, you should stop. Roll your windows down. There's a lady officer in there glaring at me. Hello, ma'am. Not even close to overweight. See, flash me the green light. Flash me the green light. Or just don't flash any lights at all. That's good too. Whatever. I'll just keep going then. If you don't tell me to park, I'm not parking. That's how I. That's how I roll. I'm getting out of here unless you tell me to park. Sometimes they don't flash any lights at you to go. If they don't do anything or change anything, that just means go. You're good. That just means they're. I don't want to say too lazy, but that just means that they didn't want to push the, the, the green light button. Whatever. The only reason you stop in these scales when they're open is if they flash you the red light or tell you park, bring in your papers. What you want to do then is you want to bring in your log books, you want to bring in your bill of ladings. Turn right on the road to King Street, hey, yeah, then man. turn left. Shut up. Turn right on the road to King Street, then turn right. Like I was saying, you want to bring in your log sheets, your bill of ladings. If you're an international driver like me, bring in your customs invoices. Bring in your driver's license. Again, if you're an international driver like me, bring in your fast card, your passport, whatever international ID you have. I always carry both uh, because the fast card is good for crossing on land. If there was ever an, ever an emergency at home. Right on 75. Oh, shush. If there's ever an emergency at home and I needed to fly home, my fast car doesn't cover me for air travel, so that's why I carry my passport. The days so waste. We made it home. How does it make you feel? Oh, uh, pretty good, I think. You just touched the lens? You just touched the lens. It's actually not the lens, it's the plastic case around it, but... Yes, we're home. We caught some more flies. Yeah! right look at that they're mine oh i got dizzy just there wow i get dizzy easy notice that lately man anyways diesel you excited to be home it's a warm enough day outside i want to show you what's gonna happen it's almost 20 degrees outside so it's nice and warm and ba -ba -bum, we have the bike out that's right one last ride on the bike yet, and then, oh, maybe we'll get another one in yet. I don't know, but there's the bike. It was all sort of shined up already for the, for the winter. I'm gonna park it for the winter soon, but uh, so nice out today that figured, why not go for a little rip, right? Why not? So that's what we're gonna do. For a little rip tonight, and yeah, that's the end of trip 15. Man, these trips are just flying by now. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna deliver our load into Winnipeg. I probably won't film that, but uh, we'll start on our new trip and start filming then. Take care, guys. Here's you'll say goodbye. Oh, we're ready to check out my Facebook page. Yeah, the days are wasted.